Welcome back to our series of opening these sports cards that were in storage for a number of years. Uh, we're live here on YouTube on the channel. And I'm Steve from Alaska, and I grew up in Alaska, and that's where we had our baseball card shop and did all kinds of things growing up that uh, we're going to now share with you a collection of cards that have traveled from Alaska to California and Illinois and Texas and Nevada and California and back to Texas and so on. Uh, along the way, we may have added some stuff, may have pulled some stuff out. But you can see this has been wrapped multiple times with different types of tape, different styles, been shipped uh, different places multiple times. As I'm off due to COVID and I have plenty of free time, it's now time to look and see what's in these boxes. Maybe there's something I can sell, get a few extra bucks. Maybe it's just fun to go through. As we sit here on the floor in the living room to go through boxes, uh, thank you for joining us. We're going to cut this one open now. This is a 3,000 count monster box, uh, used mostly for cards that would be in some sort of sleeve or sets or something that we would take to and from the store uh, to card shows or transport them or keep them in good shape. And here we go. The Oh, wow. Right away. Very excited. 1962 Tops, 1961 Tops, uh, 1963 Fleer. And then we have a couple of unopened rack packs and some other stuff in here. So this looks to be like one of those boxes you're like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe I saved this. Uh, there's a real good chance there's no Mickey Mantles. There's a real good chance there's no Hank Aarons or Willie Mays in here because those would have been part of the stock of the card shop. And we probably would have sold them at an auction or something along the way. But this certainly gives us uh, something fun to go through. Uh, again, we ask you that you go ahead and play the home game, which means uh, feel free we will give you the names of the players. We will give you the card number and the year that it was issued. And then you're able to uh, look that up yourself on eBay or however you look up your pricing and play the home game. If there's something really cool here that you just have to have because you knew the guy or your parents knew the guy or your uncle knew the guy, uh, give me a, give me a, a you know, contact me online. We'll see what we can do to get it to you. All right, we're going to start with 1959 Tops. And we, this will be several different cards, uh, videos, to get through all these. We're going to go through every one of these cards. In fact, I'm going to start with in front of 1959 here. So these are a bunch of cards that are just stuck in here. We're going to start at the beginning. And we're going to go one by one. So this may take a while, but please join along. So this is Sam Dente, D-E-N-T-E, -E, card number 137. And I believe that's the 1957 series, 1957 tops, number 137, Sam Dente, if you want to look it up. It does have a crease, so someone had bent this or had put it in their, uh, in their spokes or something, and then there's some sort of a watermark or indentation with the guy's name on here. So someone had created some sort of a stamp and actually stamped the card. So it has no value as a uh, baseball card in the sense of a mint card well-centered, but it's something that someone took the time to actually create some sort of a stamp and indent the card. So if anyone knows anything about that, uh, look it up and let me know. That's pretty cool. All right, next one. This is the 53, 1953 tops, I believe. I want to make sure I get the, yeah, looks like 1953 card number 18, Ted Lep Lepsio, Boston Red Sox, second baseman. Don't know the name. Uh, Thea, <laughs> Theatus Stanley Lepsio or Lepico. Uh, so that's card number 18. Here's a 1952 Tops card number 240. 1952 Tops card number 240. And it's Jack Dorn Phillips. And this one's got some rub on it. I don't know. There might be some creases. Uh, corners are, are not sharp at all. But it is a 1952 Tops. Take a look at that one. Wow, this is fun. Okay. Frank Shea, Washington Senators pitcher, number 164. And again, I believe this is the 53 series, 1953, Frank Shea, number 164. Bob Borkowski, 1953, and this is card number seven. And it's an original card, does have a crease on it. 1952, Al Evans, card number 152. These are not the reprints that Topps did. These are not the remakes back in the 80s and 90s. These are the original cards from those years. Corners are missing on this one. So, again, I don't know if they cut it to put it in a photo album. They were flipping the cards, whatever they might be doing. Dixie Walker, 1953, card 190. Uh, I don't see any creases on that one. So, that's actually in fair. Oh, there's a little bit of a crease there and up there. Okay, never mind. Once you get the light on it. 
Les Fusselman, uh, big Les Fusselman fan, catcher for the St. Louis Cardinals, uh, card number 218 of 1953 tops. Wow, this is fun. Ray Scarborough has a $5 price tag on it. It's card number 43. It does have a tear down here. That's probably why it's only marked $5. Uh, these are cards that were in the card shop back in the late 80s, early 90s, into the mid 90s. I uh, did auctions and card shows, all kinds of things. Uh, but these would have been leftover stock from that card shop. Ray Scarborough, card 43, 1952 tops. Frank Campos, 1953 tops, Washington Senators, card number 51. In decent condition, as you do the light thing on it, there's no real creases. I don't see any creases, no dings. No soft corners, but that's actually a decently centered card. Good edges all around it. Card number 51, 1953. I'm going to actually put that off to the side here, and we'll look at that later. John Lippin, Boston Red Sox, card number 40. This is 1953 tops. Again, another card, not in bad shape, just soft corners. Wasn't kept, you know, kept very well. Oh, there's a little bit of a crease in the top there. Number 40, 1953. Here's another 1953. Looks like we're going to have a run of 53s. Bob Hoffman, New York Giants, card number 182. Robert George Hoffman, 1953. Connie Marrero, Washington Senators, 1953, number 13. These are all low series. Would have been the first series out. Is this 1956 or 55? This is... Man, I wish I could remember all this stuff from when I used to know everything. Then you get older and you forget everything. So someone out there is going to know. I think that's 50, the 56 series. Uh, this is card 54, Lewis Limmer, L-I-M-M-E-R. And it's a record buster. And it says, who gave the most walks in the first inning? And the answer is William Gray with eight walks, Washington. Not the record you want to have. Here's a 57. Bubba Church, so the guy, again, stamped it on the front, card number 138. Crease must be from the same collection. 1952, George Sternweiss, card number 217. George Henry Sternweiss, Cleveland Indians, 1952 tops. 1957, very excited, St. Louis, who could this be? I'm going to flip it over, you ready? Get your price guides ready. Card number 20, Don Lenhart. It's actually in really good shape, except for that. Okay, never mind. was folded. Card 20, Don Lenhart, 1957. Here's another 57 from Boston, Mel Parnell. Mel Parnell, card number 66, 1957. See, I'm, I'm all wrong. Here's another. Here's 1957. So what year is this? All right, you guys are going to have to help me out at home. <laughs> is that the same series? Oh, it could be the same series. Yeah. That's a high series. Okay, maybe that's what it is. 1957 high series. Duke Moss, Detroit Tigers, number 405. So different reverse. Wow. Gonna have to look all these up. This is definitely, it's got a 57 because it has the 56 stats on the back. So which ones are these? If you're playing along at home, I apologize. We have three years in the majors, has stats for 52, 53. All right, we're gonna have to do some research on these. Here's uh, Duke Moss, though we talked about that, card number 405. 53, I know for sure. Number 218, tops 1953, Les Fusselman again. Here's Mike Clark, uh, Mel Parnell. We got another one of those. So 193 of 1953 tops. Here's number 19, Mel Parnell, 1953 tops. 1952 tops, Roy Hartsfield, number 264, Roy Thomas Hartsfield. Does have the crease on it, but it's a 1952 tops. So we're going to put those off to the side. I didn't have a label on the date, so that's uh, I used to memorize all this stuff, but it's been a long, long time. Here we go, 1958. Phil Clark, card number 423. Ed Fitzgerald, card number 236. Frank Malzone, card number 260. Elvin Tape, or Tape, Chicago Cubs catcher, card number 184. Don Muller, San Francisco Giants, card number 253. Larry Raines, 
243, 1958. Ed Bailey, 1958, number 330. Leo Kiley, Boston Red Sox, number 204. Herm Weimer, Weimer, number 248. Sam Esposito, card number 425. Ray Moore, Chicago White Sox, number 249. George Burnett, Kansas City A's, number 139. Detroit, Baltimore Orioles checklist, number 408. Detroit Tigers checklist, number 397. Got Tommy Morgan from the Detroit Tigers. He's a pitcher, number 365. You got the Washington Senators, number 44. Mike Fornelius, pitcher, number 361. Tim Thompson, great card, great front card. There. Look at that. Number is 57, Tom Qualters. I guess that's how they pitched back in the 50s. Number 453, Julio Baquir. Number 458, Tom Aker, Cincinnati Reds pitcher. Number 149, R.C. Stevens, Pittsburgh Pirates. 470, my dad's a Pittsburgh Pirate fan. I doubt he has an R.C. Stevens. I'll put that over there. I'm just going to send that to him. Bob Smith, pitcher, number 445. Wilmer Mizell, number 385. Jim King, San Francisco Giants, outfielder, number 332. Oh, 1952, tucked in here. Virgil Stalkup, number 69. 1952 tops. 1952, Mickey Harris, number 207. So I got a 1952 Mickey right there. Mickey Harris. Billy Glenn, Cleveland Indians. This is your 19, I believe these are the 56s. 1956, Billy Glenn, number 39. 1956, Tom Qualters again, number 33. Here's a 57, Bill Serena, number 122. 56, Frank Baumholtz, 172. Henry Majeski, 1952 tops. That's a 1952 tops, Hank Majeski, number 112. Tommy Hurd from the Boston Red Sox in 56, number 116. Dave Hoskins, Cleveland Indians, number 133. And John Powers, number 436. Uh, looks, I guess that's the 56 right there. Uh, so those are the uh, 52 through 58 cards. We're going to come back. We'll do 1959 and 1960 on the next video. Uh, I'm, I'm very excited. I don't know if you can tell in my voice. These are really classic cards. These are original cards. You can see there's a bunch of 61s, a bunch of 62, some 63, and 63 tops, and then whatever else is back here. So our next uh, video, join us. Uh, we're going to do that live here just in a little bit if you want to join us. Uh, if not, uh, have fun collecting. Stay safe and healthy, and uh, we'll enjoy these